How's that for you? All right. Here we go. New season, new elephant. Wow, why does this like whole team get bodied by the elephant? Um <laughs> Ah oh, man, Caparage is just so bad, man. I feel kind of weird using it anytime I use it, every time I use it. I'm gonna go, uh... I mean, I want to be under Trick Room, all things considered. I think my play here is gonna be Incineroar on lead. With Amoongus, Palkia, and Caparaja. I'll actually lead off Palkia. Actually, I can lead off Caparaja for some nasty damage. I'll lead off Copper. Copper? But yeah, this Caparaja spread, <laughs> it's kind of crazy. You guys want to see this Caparaja spread? Check this out. Look at that. We're running sheer force relaxed. And that's how you know things are bad for a Pokemon when you have to run relaxed to live things. Quinge, Caparaja. All right. Yep, he's using the lead. Here's the thing though. Realistically speaking, how? How do you stop me from naying all over you? Because I always double this. Because like regardless of who you fake out, I'm going to stop the turn one trick room. Oh, he's down bad. It's probably Sash. Yeah, it's Sash. That's fine. Uh, I was just gonna snarl this turn anyways. Actually, I really don't mind that. Like, I, I should have just... Hold up. <laughs> Hold on, this is actually not bad. Uh, let me snarl. Go for the Iron Head on this thing. It might just KO, depending on the spread. And we're Sheer Force, so... What if he copycats? He <laughs> just undoes his trick room. That'd be kind of funny. That'd be the world's funniest throw. <gasps> Can that please be who I think it is? Alright, that's not who I thought it was, but this is still going to be doing a solid chunk. Solid little chungus. Critical hit on Kaparaja. Not appreciated, but whatever. Oh my god, dude. This isn't max attack, by the way. We're literally running a defense boosting nature. The sussy mushroom has entered the chat. There he is. There's cool cat. All right. Um. Obviously, I can't get my berry here. Let me go into my sussy Pokemon. And protect. Uh, the chances of him not going for like high horsepower are pretty low. It's pretty low he wouldn't just go for high horsepower here. So I can probably just try to put him to sleep. I also speed tie with most Amoongus, so that's pretty cool. Nice. Oh god, he Glacial Lanced. Why would you Glacial Lance there? It doesn't KO either of us. Oh no. Moongus? Eh, I'm scared. I'm scared, guys. I don't like that. I don't like that. I mean, it's not the end of the world. Um, If I win a speed tie versus this Amoongus, I actually have a lot of options. Because my next Iron Head definitely KOs it. Hey, thank you for the follow, Cats in the Sky. Yeah, I mean, I just have to win a speed tie. I am minimum speed, right? Amoongus is base 30 speed, right? Right? <laughs> Anyways. 
Let's go for it. He's probably going to protect. Actually, if he doesn't, this is my play. Yeah, if I win the speed tie, we're in business. I hate it here. I hate it here. Um, technically there's still a chance. I mean, I can wake up this turn. Copperage is fast asleep. Thank you, Copperage. Very cool. Goes to the high horsepower into the Incineroar. That might be game. That might be game. Dang, man. Minecraft elephant, I see. Yes. Uh, I'm genuinely a little concerned as to why this man... <laughs> genuinely a little concerned as to why this man didn't just go for the high horsepower that turn. But I, I, I suppose he could just be calling the play. Uh, I'm going to attempt a Trick Room. And Iron Head this thing. Because he's probably going to fake out Trick Room. And if I can reverse that Trick Room, I have a chance. Let's go! <laughs> Alright, no, I think we have a chance to win now. I, I, think, I think our chance to win just came back. He tried to trick room. Okay. Class, what is our play? That's right. That's right. Spatial rend into, into Iron Head. Hoping we win the speed tie. Hey! <laughs> okay, Mark went down for Cop Barrage. Apartment, they're like... Hey, uh, you have, an, you have a, an apartment showing in exactly five minutes. Make sure it's ready, and I had to, like, clean. Well, actually, they never gave me, like, an ETA, but it ended up being, like, 20 minutes out from when they texted me, which I think might be illegal. Uh, but, yeah, I had to do that, and that interrupted our recording, which kind of shocked. So here's something really fun. Um, Life Orb Power Whip does chunks. I think what I'm going to do here... I should always be able to lead off, like, Palkia. Alki and Ahiligo doesn't seem bad. Because I'm actually, um... I'm actually Sash uh, Nihiligo with Trick Room. If I can get him. Man, I can get him. Uh, I'm gonna go Kaparaja here. And I think my last Mon... Incinera doesn't seem awful. It really doesn't seem that bad, but I think Amoongus gets me so much more value. Especially if I'm going for the Trick Room route. I better see Heavy Metal plus Heavy Slim. No, no, no. We are running Life Orb uh, Sheer Force. It just seemed more consistent. Alright. First we Reggie Lucky. Um, I'll take it. I mean... What are the odds they double my Nihiligo here? Not that high. I can go into my Amoongus. I can try to get a Trick Room off, but if I don't, I'm... Ugh, I lose. <laughs> Not like I can defend, though. You would think they would, like, Thunderbolt Wicked Blow the, um, the Palkia here. Just to ensure they can stop Trick Room. Electroweb gaming? Alright, don't target Nihiligo, please. Please have mercy. Please. I don't know why you'd hit Nihiligo here. He's just vibing. Moongus, please? Please? Okay. We're gaming. Absolute gaming. Sheer gaming. Also, did that look choice banded to you? Can someone confirm? Do you think that might be choice banned? Because that's gonna, it's gonna decide how I play this now. Also, thank you for the, <laughs> thank you for the drop on my uh, on my Nihiligo. I appreciate that. I'll go for the Sludge Bomb.
Good night. Not quite a one shot. They thunder me. Hello? Is Amoongus dead? Okay, it's just Nihiligo. We're good. We're good. Uh, check this out. I want to say they don't give me Regieleki. They're going to give me Regieleki, but I threw it. And Urshku's still alive. That kind of sucks. Uh, honestly, I'm fine. As long as I get a free switch into my copper, I'm, I'm cool. Yeah, I'll take it. Um, Not the end of the world. Because once these two are gone, their, their counterplay for Palkia sort of goes out the window. Especially if it's like Scarf Kyogre, then I just get a free Spore next turn. How many turns of Trick Room are left? Like two? Yeah, two turns. So they kind of have to hand something over. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and Palm Puff the Urshifu. Iron Head here. It's just safe. Alright, that's fine. Got some damage. Palm Puff, if it's not Assault Vest, this should actually be doing some, some chunks. Should actually be doing a chunk. Mm, looks possibly assault vest. Possibly. Um. How confident am I that this is gonna KO? Not very, but I kind of have to go for it. Yeah, that's AV. Ah. <laughs> Alright. Luckily, the fact that it's AV actually helps me a little bit here. Uh, they pretty much have to hand something over. Oh, wait a second. No, they don't. <laughs> no, they don't. I'm an idiot. I just threw that game so hard. I had too much faith in the elephant. Um, There's a pretty good chance they just double my Palkia here. Let's go for it. Actually, if I managed to take this away from them, that wouldn't be the worst. And they got the call right. Dang it, man. Yeah, uh, I probably won there if I Trick Room protected the uh, the Caparaja, but they called it perfect. I'll just go ahead and forfeit. There's no way I win that. On Fortnite. Non-timid cart. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, Kaparaja, objectively bad Pokemon, right? All they had to do was give him a usable defense stat, and he'd be fine. You could AV it, you'll Luxo, be good. I was really hoping we would see, like, a Guzzlord or something, but no. No, it's just a normal team. Um, I'm gonna go with my same lead as last time. Because typically... Typically, Palkia can get him, turn one. 
We're gonna do pretty much the same thing, but this time hopefully not lose. <laughs> this time we'll hopefully not lose. I should definitely be charging my phone. I'm hitting the gym as soon as I'm done recording and streaming. And if I don't have music, I'm not gonna wanna lift weights. Because I am weak willed. Yeah, I mean, my hope is that they just end up leading with like Tornadus plus Kyogre in an attempt to taunt and then Water Spout. Uh, and since I'm Sash on my. I'm going to hill ago. That should allow me to literally just protect Trick Room. Since they're likely going to taunt the, um, the Palky, if anything. Tornadus and Cinnaroar. Um, admittedly not a phenomenal lead, however, a double protect never hurt anyone. Matter of fact, if they try to fake out Tailwind, this turn I should be able to... For the next turn, after, after I go for my double protect here, I should theoretically be able to just go for a water move into the Incineroar and then Trick Room with my uh, Nihiligo, assuming they're going to try to taunt my Palkia. They just immediately switch, understandable. Kyogre. Um, I mean, we just play this like it's turn one, technically. Ami V, thank you for the follow. Yeah, they have to double Nihiligo here. As they do go for the taunt. All right, that that's fine, actually. I can kind of, I can kind of make them Make him regret that. Uh, I'm gonna Trick Room here. And I'm gonna go for the Spatial Rend into Kyogre. It seems like a more valuable target here. They should Water Spout like every time. Nice. Got him. Is this a two shot? It is. Nice. Without a crit, too. That's actually really, really good. So, uh, since I'm definitely slower than this Kyogre, it should be safe to attempt to power gem this Tornadus and just spatial rend a second time. They don't have any switches to that, I think. Even if, like, Incineroar comes in, he's not going to like it. And they have to switch here. Slash protect, you know. <laughs> yep, there's the switch. The only reason I didn't double that slot this turn was specifically because I was a little bit afraid of um, them possibly just going for a protect and then I get nothing out of the turn. Oh my god! Oh, that high crit ratio feels good right now. There's the hurricane, the hill ago. No, okay. Interesting. Um. Hmm. Peep this one. Nah, really. Peep this one. I'm gonna go ahead, go straight into Caparaja, and protect my Palkia. Oh, I can't protect the Palkia. <laughs> You silly goose, Marcos. You absolute goose. You absolute stupid goose. Uh, let me go ahead and get rid of Tornadus. You stupid goose. Uh, I'm going to assume they fake out in the Hiligo here. Since they can't, you know. Since I can't attack. Ah, uh, fair, fair. <laughs> um, yeah, they probably just got mad as soon as they realized I, I didn't KO. But I think as soon as they saw Caparaja, they're like, yeah, I get undersped, I get iron-headed by everything, and then I lose. 
they probably just didn't want to play at that point. We need to keep track of how many disconnects I get per game. And this is, how many times am I going to see this team? Like, I don't hate it. Like, it's, it's a normal team, right? Like, I know what it does. But how many times do I have to face this team? Uh, I kind of have to bring my Zapdos here. And Palkia. Look with the Metal Mammoth. Thank you, Professor Germ. Yeah, like, I know it's Banded, Groudon, Scarf, Entei. Like, I've se I see this team, like, every day now. And I go even with it most of the time. Like, obviously, there are some people who beat me down with it. But most of the time, I just go even versus it. So I don't know why it's, like, so popular. Now, obviously I don't bring Kaparasha to this match because they have like five things that just annihilate it. Zapdos, on the other hand, actually seems really useful. Oh wow, it's Ente Tapu Koko, who would have guessed? Who would, who would have guessed they'd lead off Entei Tapu Koko? Anyways. <laughs> uh, yeah. I mean, if it's Scarf Special Entei, they eat everything. I'm gonna go ahead and fake out Trick Room again. I know it's AV um, Coco. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they're just going to go ahead and try to take a KO. Modest Venu is interesting, because, like, technically Modest Venu is optimal for, you know, if you're life orbing it. You want to get as much damage as you can, but also it doesn't outspeed Regieleki. So then you just kind of lose. <laughs> Alright, cool. So, what are the odds they just give me the Coco? What I want to do here is get in my Palkia, so I don't mind losing the Hiligo early. If I can get rid of Coco, that'd be phenomenal, though. Obviously, they can't protect with the Coco since it's AV. Um, so, unless it's actually running, like, not that much speed, I should always be slower than it. My Nihiligo doesn't have max speed. It's, like, only enough to outspeed Entei. And this is Scarf Ente, so I'm fine. Nice, looks like we uh, got this plate perfectly. I'm gonna take a dip and finally make a Zacian team <laughs> this go around. Bleh, boom, meta. Yeah, I mean, I don't think Zacian deserves that much hate, man. Like, Zacian's a fine Pokemon. I wouldn't even call it broken, honestly. I think Zacian's just good. Alright, this is the world's freest parting shot. Well, it depends. I brought Zapdos, so Zapdos is about to be my best friend in the whole wide world. Alright, there's the Incin. Uh, yeah, my play here is going to be to... 
Protect and go Zapdos. Yes! <laughs> again! Again! They leave again! You know, winning is fun, but what's more fun is making them leave. It has to patch up its weak spots. All right. Ooh, okay. Um, do you think it's Growl Pelipper? Do you think they're running based Growl Pelipper? Now you might be thinking, Marcos, Kaparaja doesn't do anything in this game. And I would say, I agree. Let's use it anyways. <laughs> Let's use it anyways. Uh, let me go Incineroar Zapdos on lead. Seems very solid here. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and bring Palky in the back and my Kaparaja. Watching YouTube videos for a while, you inspired me to use Thievel Cool to watch you live. Hey, thank you for uh, coming out. Tommy V, I couldn't see the name, it was written in blue. I have like dark mode on, and it was written in dark blue, so I couldn't read anything on it. But yeah, uh, I actually think we have a pretty solid matchup here, despite the fact we're using the elephant. Might as well have a Rage Quit counter at this point? Possibly. I mean, we can't assume it's a Rage Quit a lot of the time. We could say, like, maybe they just have bad internet. Or something. I don't know. Alright. Wow, this is actually a phenomenal lead. Um, if they fake out... Yeah, no, they, I have something pinned here. Something's getting pinned. I'm actually not even going to bother with the fake out. I'm just going to go ahead Flare Blitz Hurricane. If I can get rid of that, um... If, if I can get rid of Rillaboom early, that'd be actually really, really nice. Yeah, something's getting pinned. Obviously, I can miss my Hurricane. But there's a 70% chance that I don't. If they're smart, they're going to fake out the Incineroar. If they're dumb, they're going to fake out the Zapdos. If they're even dumber, they're going to go for a double fake out and gain nothing. I think I actually do more damage to them at that point. Here's the trick. Hello? Full Incense. Rocky Helmet. Um, okay. Yeah, nice Rocky Helmet. <laughs> <laughs> nice rocky helmet, you dingus. Thank you for the follow. Uh, Mega, thank you. Yeah, thanks. Uh... Oh, wait, that was on the freaking Grimmsnarl. Why am I stupid? Why do I think I actually put that on the freaking... I don't know why Like I had a brain fart and thought it went on the, on the Rillaboom. Obviously, my Zapdos is slow now. Um, how do I deal with this? I mean, I can Parting Shot into my Palkia now and attempt to Trick Room. I'm going to Parting Shot into this thing. I'm more concerned with that at, at this point. Um, and there's no need to Hurricane. I can just Thunderbolt. Pop a Swish. Thank you for the follow. Yeah, I should be able to go into Palkia here. Trick Room and then probably just win if they're last Pokemonization. Go into Zation, that's fine. I'm gonna get an Intimidate off. And then they're gonna have a real tough time working around Zapdos. Yep. I think once I get rid of this Grim Snarl, things just become so much easier.
Special attack drop, whatever. I'm just gonna keep hitting it. Once this grassy terrain's gone, it becomes a lot easier as well. Go straight into Incineroar. Hopefully they're play rough. I'm gonna Thunderbolt you again. There's a light screen, that's fine. They are Swords Dance, okay. Maybe not the best situation to be in. Alright, there's a Paralysis, that's actually really nice. Um, Time to sack Kaparaja, I believe. If they're Swords Dance, they have to have Protect, which means they're likely not running Play Rough. I do have Fake Out Pressure here. I kind of want to call them to protect this turn. Kaparaj is a safer switch. Oh, I just completely misclicked. I just completely misclicked that turn. Yeah, I wasn't supposed to do that. That wasn't great. <laughs> Complete and total misclick. They do protect. Yeah, I meant to actually just go ahead and switch my Incineroar that turn to try to get a second Intimidate. My brain wanted to go for the bait. My body did not. Great into Zapdos. Protect. I wish I had my Rocky Helmet. Static? Nope, no static. Okay. How do I do this? Okay, we have a chance. We have a chance here. I'm gonna go into Palkia here. I absolutely have to get a Trick Room off. Did they not? I mean, they reveal Protect Swords Dance, so they have to have Behemoth Blade play rough as their only two stabs, which means Incineroar should be able to come in here. And then I get Fake Out Trick Room. Rough, please, into the Palkia. Yep. Now, ladies and gentlemen, time for the biggest brain play of my life. Going hard into Kaparaja. <laughs> I'm not going to fake out. I think I think that they're going to go ahead and protect here. And they get fully paralyzed. And since they protected that turn, I can double into this thing now.
They get fully paralyzed too. I'm getting so lucky now. If I connect this Hydro Pump, they lose. Nice. <laughs> That's game. That's game. He's mad, mad. And there's literally no reason not for me to just iron head this thing. Yep. <laughs> oh man, I feel bad. I feel bad. <laughs> Let's do one more, and then I'm going to go ahead and hit the gym and call it a night. By the way, thanks for 74 viewers tonight, guys. If Just so you know, I am trying to get more into variety streaming. So if you, are, if you are watching the stream right now, I will be streaming some other stuff this upcoming week. I'm going to do Pokemon every time I stream. Don't worry, there's still going to be an hour of Pokemon. However, I'm going to also be streaming stuff like Metroid Dread. Uh, I might do some Nick All-Star Brawl. Just all like the new titles. All right. Ooh, a Ho-Oh team. Um, so this team looks really annoying to fight. This team looks mad annoying. Am I gonna end the night with freaking? Wait, actually Zapdos just annihilates them. Cineroar, Zapdos, Palkia, Amoongus. Could also go Nihiligo. Could also technically go Nihiligo. But I think we get more value out of Amoongus. And we can also go Caporage if we want to flex a little bit. Let's take a vote. We have 50 seconds. Who's my last Pokemon? Nihiligo, Amoongus, Caporage. Whatever. It's all. They're all. I list all of them. <laughs> Let's take a vote. Shroom. I, like, I feel like I can win with any of these, technically. But I want to... Just, just a general vote as to who we want to see me try to use. Shroom. We're all feeling the shroom. Yeah, I was thinking the shroom. So we have so many options for beating the um for beating the ho -Oh anyways. Like Amoongus just goes crazy this game. How much you want to bet they don't have safety goggles anywhere on this team? Actually, I am willing to bet the safety goggles might actually be on the uh, on the ho -Oh. Yeah, most of the chat's saying shroom right now. I'm getting a haircut tomorrow. I'm gonna look so fly. Cinderace Pre Marina. Oh, I am sorry, my son. I am sorry, my son. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm willing to bet you just hyper voices and high jump kicks. And Cinderace should take a high jump kick at minus one, right? Regardless, I'm going to go into my Amoongus here. I'm not going to bother faking out. Um, two Thunderbolts should do it on Cinderace. Unless it's super bulky. I could also risk a Hurricane, but I'd rather just go for the consistent move. to protect. Phenomenal. A jump kick. Gunk shot. Hello? You don't have fighting? It's on the Zapdos, but we take it like a champ. Can we not get poison, please? Nice. Um, I could just Thunderbolt and go right back into the, uh, into the boy. I don't think Incinera takes the hit, though. We kind of need him for later. Kind of actually need him for later. Uh, let me just protect. I I'm willing to, If I'm willing to give up anything, it'd be Zapdos in the early game to get rid of Cinderace. I'll just Thunderbolt again. 
And if I don't get knocked out by the pre marina, that's fine. I just go ahead and recover next turn. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this thing. Ferrothorn. Okay. I feel like Ferrothorn pre marina is actually such a good combination that you really just don't see much. No poison, please. I'm surprised you actually connected two. Ah, okay. That's not gonna be fun, but I should be able to recover. Or roost, technically. Alright, yeah. Uh, I think my play here is going to be to spore the pre marina and roost. I go for ho oh, actually. Um, okay. Okay, here's my play then. I'm going to go into Incineroar for Zapdos. I'm going to try to roost off this damage. Or go into Incineroar uh, for Amoongus and roost off the damage. Because I think they're just going to Brave Bird. Yeah, I know Finny replaces Prim. But like under Trick Room, like Life Orb Prim is actually really nasty. See if I'm faster than this hoe. Probably not. As they just protect? Interesting. Uh, wonder why. I'm actually very much wondering why. Oh, they just went for it. Hey, get paralyzed, bud. Hey. I'll take it. I'll take it. Rocky helmet, too. Nice. Alright, I got some fake out pressure. I should just be able to fake out in Thunderbolt Hello pretty much for free right now. If they go Finny, it's whatever. I'm just gonna go ahead and recover. Be some decent damage. Nice. Full para? We'll take it. I'll take it, man. Check this out. Actually, I don't know why Ferrothorn stayed in that turn. Going off the assumption that he's not really great, I'm just going to go ahead and roost Flare Blitz and assuming that the Ferrothorn stays in. Yeah, I don't know. Ferrothorn's going for Protect, I assume, but why not just go into Pre-Marina right now? Anyways, they lost their, uh, they've lost their Ferrothorn privileges. They do have Recover. Obviously, we have Breakers in the back for that. This thing's gone. Oh no, the Iron Barb's damage. Oh, okay, Rocky Helmet too. Never mind, that's actually a considerable amount of damage. Uh, thank you for the follow, Frost Wolf. So typically here, I would actually... We already saw Premier have Protect, right? I'm going to say the Ho doesn't have Protect. Um, typically here, I'd Parting Shot the Ho, but due to the damage I sustained, I'd rather just get more Intimidates. I'm going to do this. Yeah, damage on Premier is probably a bit more useful right now since we just stall Hobo for the rest of the for the rest of eternity. That's fine. Sacred Fire. Wow, that doesn't even come close to KOing. Also, I'm faster, so I can recover here and just put you to sleep. I think I prioritize Pre Marina.
Yeah, if I can get damage on that, that's going to be great. And it's paralyzed. Yeah, no, I think we just win now. Does like nothing. Incredible, absolutely phenomenal. Lose some HP. That's why. I figured it was going to be Life Orb, so any damage is useful damage. Alright. In comes Palkia. Um, my play here is just going to be to Rage Powder. And spatial, not spatial rent, hydro pump. Because if they moonblast my my Amoongus, they lose. Hopefully, I don't miss here. It's just gonna make the end game more annoying. Yeah, doesn't love that. Palki has got some nasty damage output with the Lustre Sword. And uh, that should be game. That should be game. Let me go into my Incinero to play things safe, get another Intimidate off, and uh, we'll click Hydro Pump. Yep, nice. Awesome. We did pretty good today. Pretty, pretty good. Got, got kind of lucky at times, but uh, pretty good.